Hi, my name's Georgie and I'm here to give you a campus tour today. So we're starting up here on the high street. We've got the old townhouse behind me, so it's a really beautiful part of campus. Um, it used to be an old prison and it also has jail cells, but it's now a museum, so you can come and visit that while you're a student on campus. To my left here behind me as well, we've got the International Centre. So if you're an international student or an EU student, you can come here, you can get help, support, advice, meet other students as well. We've also got a shelter cafe, which is a relatively new cafe to campus, um, but it's a great place to come and grab a coffee, have a bit of a break during your lectures. And as we go around campus, I'll point out another few good places where you can get a break as well. So we'll head down the high street. This is kind of the main bit in campus. So you've got lots of things that are on the high street. Um, and if you can find yourself here, then you shouldn't get too lost. It's quite a small campus. Um, everything's nice and close together. Um, so we'll head on down here. And on my right here, you've got Blackwell's Bookshop. So Blackwell's is great um, to get all the books you need for your exams, for studying. Um, they often do price matches as well. So if you find a book on Amazon that's cheaper, um, Blackwell's will often price match that for you. Um, it's a great place as well. You can get kind of fiction reads as well, stationery, all those sorts of things. So it's handy to have it right on campus on our doorstep. We've also got St Macca Bar here on my right as well. Um, so St Macca Bar, it's not run by the university, but it's another great place where you can go for some drinks in the evening with your friends um, and kind of just chill out on campus. And also here we've got the Info Hub. So the Info Hub is somewhere you should really know where it is as a student. It's a great place to find out information, um, get your student ID card, get any other kind of support, a bit like the International Centre, they're here to help you as well. Um, so come to the Info Hub if you need any help and support. So we're going to go up this way towards the library and the Students' Association um, and we'll show you a bit more as well. So as we head up here you can see there's beautiful parts to campus and um, it really is a beautiful campus and lots of old historic buildings um, but also as I show you the library you'll see there's lots of new builds as well, lots of new facilities that are available for you as a student. On my right here as we go up we've got St Mary's building and um, so that's for subjects such as uh, geography and archaeology, you might have lectures in here. But generally, as a rule at Aberdeen, some buildings will kind of house certain subjects, but you'll still be all across campus. So no one is kind of set in one place. You'll move around and use lots of different facilities. So we'll just head up this bit here. You'll find as well with Aberdeen, it's really nice. You get kind of used to where everything is quite quickly. Um, so you're not too kind of spread out. You won't get lost. Um, it's not like some campuses where I think there's just so many things in so many places. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Ahead of me here as well, you can see we've got some accommodation. Um, this is primarily for our postgraduate students, um, but you can, if you're a postgraduate or if you want to live there, um, generally our students live at Hillhead, which is our accommodation block for undergraduate students, um, and it's a really nice place for people to meet everyone um, and you're all in one place together, which is great. So, to my left here, we've got the Students' Union building. Um, so this has a downstairs area, we've got a coffee shop, you've got um, a shop as well with lots of kind of food and stationery and things like that as well. You've also got um, upstairs, you've got a food outlet, so lots of places to get different food um, from vegan, halal, meat options, loads of different things to suit whatever you like. If you are in accommodation as well and you go for catered accommodation, you can use your card to get food here as well on campus. So it's very flexible to allow you to do lots of different things. We've also got here, as you can see on the sign there, Aberdeen University Students Association. So ALSA is the body that run all our sports and societies. Um, so you can go in there if you need to speak to anyone or get any help. So it's all housed in one place. So I'm going to head up this way now and show you the library. So again, this is also St Mary's building, which I mentioned earlier. So if you're doing geography or archaeology or any subjects like that, you may well have lectures in uh, St Mary's building. And this building all along here, this is all our accommodation. Um, primarily for postgraduate students, it also has downstairs flats and accessible flats as well. So as we head up to the library, um, it's one of the newest parts of campus. Um, it's a beautiful facility which you'll see in a minute. Um, lots of study spaces and you also might be able to see just in the background as we go around the corner our new science teaching hub. Um, so this is in the current process of being built. Um, but it's a great facility to, um, that will be amazing for science students. You'll be able to get lots of brand new labs and facilities and opportunities to kind of do everything that you want to do on your science courses. So we're just coming around to the library. It's a lovely sunny day as we come into the sunshine. So up behind us here, 
This is where we have our Sir Duncan Rice Library. So it's one of three libraries that we have on campus. Um, the other two we can point out as we go around as well. Um, this is the main library, it's the biggest one and it has amazing facilities for all our students. So you've got things like breakout study rooms, um, individual study areas, silent areas, group working areas. There's also a cafe on the ground floor as well, so you can have a little bit of a break away from studying. Um, but all students can come and get books out here and return books really easily. Um, it's a really, really good facility because you will spend a lot of time studying, so it's nice to have those options. On my right as well, we've also got a Meston building. Um, this is where at the moment things like chemistry and physics are all held. Um, but as I say, the new science building, which is kind of behind me to the left here, it's going to be there when it's finished being built. You can't quite see it behind the buildings. Um, but that is where places like chemistry and physics will move to. Um, on my left here as well, we've also got a Fraser Noble building. So this at the moment is for engineering. Um, big lecture theatres is there, well, so, as well, there as well. <laughs> so you might find that you have lectures in Fraser Noble even if you're not seeing engineering. Um, it's a great building to pop into if you are on campus. You can see the um, Tau racing car. So our engineering students build these race cars and then they race them in actual competition. So it's a really great thing to do if you're interested in engineering. So we're going to head um, down this little pathway here. So we'll just check it's not too busy. <laughs> Looks all right. So we'll head down here. It's a really cute little alleyway. Another part of campus that's just kind of really cute and quaint. Wait for the cars to go by. So as you can see as well, there's like little individual houses and stuff on campus. So there are people that live on campus, um, just private houses, um, but it's got really cute little alleyways and quaint things like this, which is just a really nice place to be at the university. This can get really busy when students are changing lectures. There's millions of students all going up and down, um, but it's a really nice part of campus as well. Okay, so as we come down here, we're actually going to rejoin where we started, back on the high street. Um, so you'll see how everything kind of connects quite nicely, it's all quite close together. Okay, so we're back here on campus. Um, and on my right here, we've got the bakery. So as you can see, it's lunchtime. It's very popular. Everyone likes to go to the bakery and places like this. We've also got Keelau Coffee. So this is an independent coffee shop. Um, but again, it's very popular with students. Go and get coffee and cakes. Their brownies are amazing. Um, so it's another nice place on campus that's really easy to get to, um, but you can kind of see what the options are for you as a student. Um, as we head down High Street as well, as you can see, this is one of the really beautiful cobbled streets. It makes kind of Aberdeen special, it gives it the character that it has. Um, so it's a nice thing to kind of be part of the campus. We've also got on the right as we head down here, Key Store. So again, it's another little shop, a bit like the other ones I've spoken about, where you can get snacks, drinks, things like that. Very reasonable prices, so great for students. Um, but it's another just convenient place um, for students to be able to access. We're also heading down now to kind of like the heart of campus. So as I said, everything's quite close together, so it is easy to find everything. Um, but as we come down here, it's kind of the bit you might see in photos on the front of the prospectus. Um, it's a really lovely part of campus. We've also got coming up on the right here, the multi-faith centre. So this is somewhere where if you're religious or even if you have no religion, um, you can come here. They do loads of activities, um, lots of things to get involved in, meet people. Um, so it's a really nice part as well and something you can get involved in. As I said, whether you're religious, you can join a religious group or if you're not, then just go along anywhere. You're welcome. Everybody is welcome. So on my right here, we've got New Kings. So this is one of the most beautiful parts of campus, especially in the sun today. It's really lovely. Um, again, there's big lecture theatres in here, so pretty much everyone will use New Kings at some point. Um, and it's just a gorgeous part of campus, great facilities, big lecture theatres, so lots of room for you as students. Um, and as you can see, the vines, very Hogwarts-esque, we always think. We've also got the Confucius Institute on our right here. Um, so that's another facility that you have. Everything is, as you can see, on campus. It's all really close together. So this is the heart of campus. Um, so this is King's College. This is the lawn area. Um, if you ever have managed to visit on an open day, then this is sort of where everything happens. 
um, our beautiful new kings those are normally like big red vines it's just lost its leaves now um, but it's still a gorgeous building um, really beautiful park campus and in the summer especially when there's lots of students around and everyone's kind of taking some breaks and out in the sunshine you'll see loads of students across the lawn area make sure i don't fall off the pavement <laughs> lots of students on the lawn as i said this is where we have open day and things like that and events will be run throughout the year as well that students can come and get involved in and they tend to be based around here because um, it's such a lovely space at the back on the right there as well you've got elphinstone uh, hall so this is used for exams for students it's also rented out for weddings um, it is a beautiful old hall with shields on the walls and it's just a really gorgeous space again if you've been for open day that's where we have our academics in there to speak to you and behind me here as well we've got the chapel um, again it is a stunning chapel it's one of the oldest parts of campus um, so it's a really gorgeous area you see the crown on top of the chapel as well um, it's just a really beautiful piece of architecture um, and a lovely area to study in great for graduation photos i always think um, again, the chapel is used for lots of different things. There's services in there. Um, we had a remembrance service recently. You can also have things like weddings in there as well. So, you know, if you graduate from Aberdeen, you could get married there as well. So this is sort of coming to the end part of campus. Um, behind me to the left, you can just about see in the background the uh, two fairy tale towers, I would call them. Um, so they were created by someone who didn't own part of campus. He was a separate person. And he decided that he was a little bit jealous of campus, so he was going to make his own kind of fairy tale bit. So he built those towers. Um, behind those towers is a Starbucks, which is again very popular with students and other Aberdeen uh, University buildings as well. Um, beyond that, you're heading towards the town centre. So the university is not far from the town centre. Just behind the main buildings here as well, the kind of grey building to the right, that is where you're going to have um, other subjects as well. So um, a mixture of subjects are based in there. But within our um, main buildings here, you have things like divinity, history, philosophy, um, generally those sorts of subjects. And we also have the divinity library. So I mentioned that we have more than one library. Um, but this is the divinity library space just in here as well. So that was kind of a brief tour of campus. It gives you a rough idea of how it all looks. Um, we're going to do some other tours as well. So keep a lookout if you want to see different areas of the campus. Um, but hopefully that gave you an idea of what Aberdeen is like.